and now tonight, I know whether it's in Clement or whatever, however you want to call it, but we just thank God for pressing. I, I preach this all the time when you are body in the body of Christ. You got to press your way. So I just thank God for you all that, that are faithful, that are pressing your way, you know, just not staying at home, but, you know, pressing your way out, coming to the house of the Lord. So tonight, before we get ready to do prayer, we'll go um, do our lesson. Go ahead and lead us in the word of prayer, sister, and we'll go on. And we're going to try to finish this tonight. Father God, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for just another day that you've allowed us to see. God, as we get into your word, God, fill us up with your spirit, Heavenly Father, and give us revelation and knowledge, but most of all, understanding of your word, God. <coughs> Rain down your anointing in this place like you never have before, yes. God. We thank you for everyone attending Bible study tonight, God, how they press their way, God. We ask you right now, before we even get into the lesson, that on their way back home, they say travel. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God. We praise you. We thank you for our pastor and our overseer, God. <coughs> Continue to hold them in the hollow of your hands. Yes. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy and righteous name, God. Because you're worthy to be praised. Yes. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the sun, yes. you and you alone are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen. 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 Okay, everybody. We go. First Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter 5. And we left off at verse 7. So we're going to begin uh, uh, at 8 through 14. And we're going to try to finish this up. But I'm going to probably go back up a couple of them and, and just tie that in together. So we'll do 8 through 14. And that would be the end of uh, First Peter. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood of the world. <clears throat> but may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory, be Christ Jesus, by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, our faithful brother, as I consider him, I have written to you briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God which is in which you stand. She who is in Babylon, elect together with you, greets you, and so does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace to you all who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, saints. So you know, uh, this has been a good chapter the first Peter uh, we're ending it we've been talking about the elders and the young men and women in the body of Christ and we ended it last week uh, where we were talking about uh, number six says humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time uh, cast all your cares some of, some of your Bibles might say anxiety over on him because he cares for you. And, and you know, in this Christian walk, what we're going through right now with the pandemic, and a lot of people are sick. You know, I was telling a young lady, she called me the other day, I prayed for her, and I just told her, I said, you know, a lot of people are sick. We're doing our Christian duty the best that we can. You know, maybe I can come and check on you, maybe I can't, you know. But, you know, sometimes I go through myself, but it's a lot of people sick. A lot of people yeah. are going through right now. This is why I encourage everybody to attend Bible study and Sunday school. This is where you learn how to hold on when you feel like you don't have no hope. Right. You know, right. when you can't feel God. Yeah. You know, Amen. when you don't have nobody you can call yeah. on to help. When you feel alone at home, if you're by yourself or whatever, then you this is how you've got to know the word so you can reach out and grab something Amen. to keep you going. Yeah. 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 See, see, because we're going to get into this. The enemy has beat up his attack. So you, the Bible said before Jesus comes back for his church, he said if it was possible, yeah. which we know it ain't, yeah. the devil would deceive the very elect, yeah. those that have been called, that's been steadfast in God, if you're not careful, he'll deceive.
see you. Yeah. And, and he's yeah. whispered in so many people's ear, where's your God at now? But God is still on the throne, yes. saints. Yes. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly what we can yes. think or ask. Yes. Yes. Don't you ever think God don't hear your prayer. Because uh -huh. God loves you and he hears your cry. Yes. So this is why we need to learn how to cast it all over on him. Amen. And when you're by yourself, if you don't know, the, you can't talk the words. If you don't have no word, you can't talk it to yourself. Amen. You got to talk that word to yourself. Amen. I got to do it. You got all of us got to do it. Because we are flesh. Yeah. We're flesh. Yeah. We're in the natural. So, you know, the spirit, when you feed your spirit and you get the word in you, and then you can handle your situation, your circumstances a little bit better. But if you don't get that word and learn of him, yeah. you'll fall apart. Amen. Amen. So that's why the word of God is saying, cast all of your cares. Cast them on the Lord. Yeah. He's telling you, you don't have to carry these that's burdens. Right. I'm so heavy laden and I'm burdened down. Uh, you can't carry. The weight of it is, is too much yes. for you. Yes. So cast your cares over on God because he cares for you. And it's it, and number eight, we pick it up at number eight here tonight. It's saying, uh, my Bible, now I've got this study Bible, and it might read a little bit uh, different from yours, but it breaks it down to a common denominator where even a child will not stumble at the word of God. It says, have self-control. Yeah. And be alert. Yeah. See, God wants us to be alert. He said, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a devil. Amen. So you got to have some wisdom. When you're walking through this earthen vessel that you're living in, and this low ground, hey, the Bible even says the low ground of sorrow. Yeah. When we're walking on this earth, yeah. you better get you some wisdom mm -hmm. to learn how to deal with situations. Amen. Amen. Because I'm telling you, yeah. if you don't learn how to walk in the spirit mm -hmm. and by faith, the world is going to suck you up. Right. Yeah, right. Amen. Pressures of life. Yeah, yeah. It will suck you up. Yeah, yeah. If you don't learn how to walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah, so you can't walk by how you feel. Because right. if, if I went by how I felt, I wouldn't be here tonight. Amen. Talk to me tonight. Amen. Amen. If, I, if I walk by Amen. what I see, I wouldn't be here tonight. Amen. But this is a faith thing. That God can do what he said he can do. Amen. He's able yes, he is. to do exceedingly, mm -hmm. exceedingly above what you can ask or think. Amen. You can't even think Amen. how God can bless you. Amen. When I think about his goodness yeah. and all that he has done for me, mm -hmm. my soul yeah. cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. And then sometimes you, when, when you go through all you can do is say, Lord, yeah. have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. 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 Lord, yeah. have mercy, Jesus. Yeah. Let your mercy yeah. rain on me. Yeah. And guess what? God will come to your rescue. Yes. He'll lift those old burdens yes. up yes. that you're going through. So have some self-control. Yeah. We're living in a mean world. Yes, yeah. we are. We used to, when we was in school, uh, Bush, Rab, and Ivy, all of us uh, of, 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 of the age of being in we used to, the girls, we used to call them the mean girls and the mean boys. Yeah. You know, the ones that, now they call them bullies. <laughs> but, but you got, when you got people out there mm -hmm. yeah. that will ridicule you yeah. and come against you, yeah. you've got to know that you know that you know that you're gods. Yeah. 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 Amen. You can't do what the world does. Right. You can't handle situations. As you grow in God, some of these things should, you, you know, you just say, <laughs> just walk on away from it. Yeah. You've got to learn how to do that. You don't automatically walk in that. As you grow in God's grace, you learn how to handle yeah, yeah. adverse circumstances. Yeah. You learn how to do that. Have some self-control yeah. and be alert yeah. and be watchful. Yeah. You know, keep your eyes open like Gideon's troops, the 300. That killed all. Oh, yeah. I mean, they took it over. Yeah. Hey, they had 
enough of wisdom to know that while you're drinking, you got to be watching. Yeah. Yeah. While you down there yeah. left the water, yeah. you got to be watching. Because hey. the enemy is on your track. Oh, yeah. He wants to turn you back. He yeah. knows his days is numbered, Sister Rat. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Yeah. And he knows, the devil knows his days are numbered. Yeah. And every time the devil reminds you of your past, Brother Greg, you know what you need to do? Remind him of his future. You going to heaven and he's going to hell. And that's how you shut the devil up. That's how you get him off your back. Amen. Because he's coming. And, and you know what? His antics, his trickeries. He's been at this game since creation. So that's why you got to stay prayed up. Oh, come in here, talk to Hey, talk to him. You got to stay prayed up if you want to walk by faith and not walk in confusion. Because he'll pull something out of the head and make you think he's a spirit of light. Listen, the Bible says that the devil goes daily before God. You remember when the angels presented themselves before God in Job? Job? Yeah. And, and Satan went too? Yeah. And, and, and tried to disguise himself as a spirit of life. And God said, What? What you doing here with the angels? What you doing here? Yeah. You know, Satan, what you been doing? He said, In the earth, going to and fro. Yeah. Trying to devour who I can. Yeah. So if he's steadily accusing the brethren before God, if he's accusing us, what are you, how are you going to accuse me? Oh. He's steadily accusing. So if you know the devil is going to accuse, you know your enemy is going to accuse. That's right. Because that's who he uses. Those that he can use their tongue to come up against you. And that's why the Bible said have self-control and be alert. Then you won't get caught off guard when the enemy tries to throw a spoke in, you know, in your wheel, hey, you'll be ready for it. Yes. You, you'll keep on fighting a good fight of faith. It says, your enemy, the devil don't like none of you. He hates your guts. Yes. 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 And it's a shame how the world has made all these jokes about the church. The church is a laughing stop now. Yeah. Everybody got a joke in the Mathematics Church. Amen. Mm. Amen. But I'm telling you, this thing is for real. Yes, yes. The devil, who is your enemy, they talk about hell, we're going to have a barbecue, a ribs. No, you ain't have no ribs <laughs> in hell when you get to hell. No. All you having is gashing the teeth and darkness and burning forever. Hell is for real. It ain't no joke. Yeah. And hell, the heaven is too. Yeah. There's only one place you're going to go, either to heaven or hell. And the choice is not God's, it's yours. That's right. It's your choice. Amen. He already made a way by sending his son Jesus that we can go have eternal life. But the choice, he ain't going to make you That's right. serve him. That's right. He said because the enemy, mm -hmm. the devil, your enemy, the one that hates you, he's prowling and rain. Yeah. Like, he didn't say he was a roaring lion. Like a lion. Like oh, come in here. Ain't no lion. He's yeah. not a lion. He's like a roaring lion. Yeah. Yeah. Deceiving you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the devil's on my track trying to turn me back. But what does the word say? Get him off your back. Put him under your feet. You've got to take action. Oh, Lord, come down here. I mean, God ain't coming down here off of his throne. That's why the Holy Ghost is here. To meet every last. Oh, God, go to the hospital. God is not going to the hospital. He, he, that's why he called you to send you to the hospital. Go into the hospitals. Touch. <laughs> God called you to go into the hospitals. Yeah. yeah. That's right. We want to sit home and watch TV and see God somewhere. Yeah. Oh, oh, God said, I'm telling you to. See, this is why we're not getting blessed to God. Because we trying to put God, tell God what to do. When he called us, we didn't choose him. He chose us. So the enemy, the devil, your enemy, don't ever think he's your friend. He hates you. Right. And he don't want you to be blessed. He want division in the families. It's more division in families. I've never seen it like this before. I mean, he's beaten up his attack. God has to come back soon. Because if he didn't, the devil would destroy everything. Yeah. But thanks be to God that gives us the victory mm -hmm. through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. You got to tell, I got the victory. Yeah. I got yeah. the victory. Yeah. I got the victory. I walk 
I know who I am in Christ. Hello? I know who I am in Christ. I've got the victory in Christ. Look at here. I went to the doctor the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, the dentist. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the dentist was checking me and everything, and I liked him. He had a really good spirit. And he just hummed the whole time. He was working on me and sung. And I said, you got a pretty nice little voice. <laughs> and uh, he said, yeah, I used to sing with a, a southern uh, gospel group. I said, yeah, me and my sisters, we, well, he said, I can tell by your voice. And I'm thinking, how do you tell? He said, I can tell by your voice, you can say. Um, and, and, and then when he got to looking at my medical records, he said, lady, you know what? He said, you ain't even supposed to be here. Yep. <laughs> the doctor now, the dentist. Now, we just talked about singing. Wow. And I don't know when he looked at that. And I said, you're absolutely right. But hey. the master, he said, God, he said, you are. He said, I'm going to tell you right now. He said, you are a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. I said, he said, of course, I ain't telling you nothing you don't already know. I said, you're absolutely right. right. I do know I'm a walking, talking miracle. Yeah. Thanks be to God yeah. that I'm here today. I said, I got more kingdom work to do for the Lord. I said, my journey's just beginning. Yeah. I've been out here 40 years. I said, but I'm just beginning. Yeah. He said, I believe it. Yeah. He said, boy, you got a lot of spunk to have all of this stuff going on with you. I said, God. Yeah. He's doing the strength, the joy. That's why I say that all the time, dear. Yeah, yeah. The joy of the Lord yeah. is my strength. Yeah. I don't have no strength within myself, yeah. but I got due to my strength with God. Yeah. 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 I can drag around like a polecat all day long, but when I get in the house and open up my mouth and start talking about Jesus, supernatural strength comes. Yeah. 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 And see, you can get strength when you're talking about the things of God. Michael. Yeah. 
kingdom of heaven. Yeah, the new, the new earth, the new heaven. Yeah, we're going there. Yeah. But what you gonna do in the meantime while you're here? You gotta have something in you yeah. to take you through everyday life. Mm -hmm. Cause if you don't, the enemy will destroy you. Yeah. Cause he's going around mm -hmm. seeking whom. We gotta change our mindset, saints, mm -hmm. our thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I said 99% uh, of the people that surround me don't even really know me. That's right. <laughs> they don't know the real. They don't know the real me. Yeah. And, and what I'm talking about, me, you don't know my heart. You don't know my heart. You try to judge me by those that are around me, but you don't know my heart, so you don't know me. Right. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. And you know what? You don't want to feel like you're on the defense because sometimes you just have to let God prove you. Yes. You don't have to prove nothing. Let God prove you. Yes. Just keep on living. Amen. Keep on praying. Yeah. Keep on singing the songs. The, that's what the, God said, whatever's of a good report, whatever's yeah. heavenly, think on this. Yeah. So yeah. keep on doing those things. Like God will prove you. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. All right. Anybody? Hey, baby. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> he said, resist the devil. Right. Now, some of us just says, come on in. Oh, I done tried it. I done resisted. I done resisted. I done resisted. Now it's time to invite the devil in. Oh. That ain't what the word says. No. He said, resist him. Yes. Yes. You resist him. Yes. And you know what? It's not, it's not easy, saints. It is not easy sometimes to walk away. Mm -hmm. We tell you that, we preach that. It's not easy, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. You don't have to retaliate. You can do it. If you resist the enemy and handle yourself in a, and stand firm in the faith. See, this is what the Bible says. Yeah. Stand firm in your faith. Yeah. As you grow in God, you'll learn how your temper won't be so quick. Yeah. You know, you know you don't change. Yeah. Anybody here know for yourself yeah. that you don't change? Yeah. And this is growing in, this is what it's called growing in your faith. Right. Yeah. And you're not, not only do I see change in you, you ought to see change in yourself. That's right. right. That's right. And see, when you start growing in God, and everybody gets on one accord, in one mind, and in one spirit, guess who tried to come in? The enemy tries it every time. And when he comes in, you need to show him the door. Say, oh, no, 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 not today, Satan. Now, coming up in here. Because we're growing in one spirit, yes. on, in one mind, you know, and we got love, the love of God in us, and we're not going to go that way. Amen. You know, it, you got to change in the heart. You got to have a heart transplant. Right. Yes, Talk to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to take that stuff out. Yeah. You got to take that malice out, yeah. all that hatred, all that bitterness. Yeah. When you let that come into your heart, this is like, that's what causes you to be sick. Yes. Right. When you let when you let your heart get cloudy uh -huh. with anger and 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 and, and hate for people and just stuff. all of this yeah stuff that's a good word stuff mm -hmm. when you let that it'll take root yeah. in your heart uh -huh. yeah. and if you're the next thing you know you setting up in church uh -huh. yeah. If you're not real, you sitting up in church with all this malice in your heart. Amen. And you you know what? You're just taking up a space. Because yeah. when God said, when you got it in your heart, you can't reach me. No. You can't get to God when you, He said you first got to get it out of your heart. Yeah. And first you got to go to your sister and brother. Yeah. And he said, don't come to me until you go to them. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. And, and, and you got most 99% of the church that don't want to do that. That's right. That's right. Amen. Ain't my fault I didn't do it. And so I ain't done. And now you have a body life. But this is what we got to learn how to do. Amen. And I'm telling you, God didn't send the corona. He permitted it. And some of us are isolated at home. And I'm going to tell you, this is what God told me. He just told me this today. He said he put you by yourself so you can examine your own self. Amen. 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 Have mercy. If you examine.
examine yourself. Nobody else won't have to examine. Yes. He said, you got to examine yourself. Yes. Lord, talk to him. Yes. He, he, you by yourself so you can talk to God and get a better relationship Amen. with him. Amen. Right. Oh, come here and talk to him. Amen. But, but see, we don't want to use that time to pray and read our Bible and, and study and turn on our Christian. We want to listen to all this who shot John and stuff. But see, when, when, when you... Isolated by yourself, you ought to get in your word. Yeah. And if you don't feel like reading, just lay across the bed and turn your music on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. glory be to God. Yeah. Hey, put you some praise music on and walk around the house with you don't even have to open up your up your mouth. Just walk around the house with your arms up. Yeah. That means praise. Yeah. This means praise. Yeah. When your hands is up in the air, yeah. giving God the glory. Yeah. And you you know what? You'll feel bad. You don't even have to have no comfort. Right. Because you got the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in the room with you. Yeah. When you invite him in, you don't need no company. Yeah. Right. Then that way you won't be lonesome. A lot of people, oh, I'm so lost. Look, invite the Holy Ghost. Right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Three in one. And you, that's four. Yeah. You don't have to be alone. Invite him in. That's enough. That's enough. Right. So, science, look at here. Resist it. Re resist the enemy. Resist it. Stand firm in your faith. Uh -huh. Stand firm in what you believe. Yeah. I, I know all of these doctors, all these doctors that I go to, I know they get tired of me talking about Jesus. I know they do. So you know what I went and did, brother? I went and had me some t-shirts made right up. So when I walk in, they can read it, and I don't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> they can just read it. We laughing at you because my hand been up forever. Okay. When you said that um, God had been tell, uh, dealing with you and talking about, you know, he's separating people and they need to examine themselves. I was listening to my man, Jamal, and he, he made a comment and I actually posted. He said what he said was stop looking out the window and start looking in the mirror and pour out your own school meal. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> That's heavy right now. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and that's what we need to do. So that's what we need to do. And, and that's what we're trying to head that way. We're trying to get everybody on one accord. Yeah. Uh, to head, to go in the right direction, the yeah. same direction. Mm -hmm. The yeah. direction that your link, uh, Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to follow somebody. Yeah. Right. If you don't want to follow me, you're going to have to follow somebody. Yeah. Every church got to have a pastor. Right. Talk, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. That you don't need the pastor. Right. Amen. Amen. Every church needs a leader, yeah. and you didn't ordain it. God ordained it. Yeah. Right. But see, all of us need to be going in the same direction. You, if we're going going to, going to the right, you don't need to be going to the left. Yeah. Amen. 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 And this is how you have sweet harmony yes. in the body of Christ, because that's what God wants. He said, "Love the Lord thy God with all your heart." All your soul, all your mind, all your being. He only, Jesus only left us two commandments. That's it. Two. First, you got to love God, right. the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost yeah. with everything in us. And see, people don't want to do that. People don't know, won't want to love. They just want God when they need something. Right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Talk to me when they get in trouble. Come on. I look at the nation. We don't ever pray to God. We're not, we, you know, 90-75% uh, of the time until we get in trouble. Yeah. And then we holler, oh, God, yeah. help yeah. us. Yeah. We, we, you know, that's what the Israelites did, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing the same thing. Yeah. We don't want him in our schools. Yeah. We don't want him in our courtrooms. Yeah. We don't want him nowhere. Uh -huh. uh, we don't even want him in the country. Uh -huh. Now, now, mind you, this is his country. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah, remind, to remind me that the earth is the Lord's. Yeah. And the fullness, that includes the United States of America. Yeah. Yeah. The fullness they're in. We don't even want him in his own country. Yeah. How are you going to put the creator out of his country? Right. Until we get in trouble. Yeah, then we go it. running, trying to have a prayer battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we should be praying yeah. all, all the time. Right. Right. He said, pray without ceasing. A lot of people, you can't do that. See, now that's carnal thing. Yeah. See, you can have a prayer in your heart, yeah. in your yeah. mind, in your spirit yeah. all the time. That's without it. even opening oh, your yeah. mouth. Yeah. That's, that's right. 
That's right. Exactly right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Resist it. Yeah. We've got to start doing some resisting. Yeah. 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 Stand firm in your faith. Mm -hmm. Stand firm on what you believe in. Yeah. Don't let nobody move you off of it. Right. You know? And, and, and because you know that your brothers throughout the whole world, mm -hmm. look here, Christians everywhere, Saints, they get getting killed overseas yeah. because they're Christians. That's right. You know, and they're trying to do it here yeah. because you're Christians. Yeah. You don't never know what you're going to have to go through. I, I will never forget that Columbine incident. Yeah. That young lady that laid her life down. Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. Immediately when that young man shot her, she told her spirit went down. Come on, yeah. come on. Talk to me. Yeah. She's better off than we are, yeah. even though it hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. You don't never know what you're going to go through. That's why you got to get rooted now yeah. and grounded in the world because when your back gets up against the wall and the enemy is putting pressure on you, you still got you still know how to stand. Yeah. Yeah. You won't sell Christ out and right. take the mark of the beast. Right. You think it's bad now? You wait till tribulation time comes. Right. Oh, we just lead up to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. We'll get into that in the book of Revelation. So, saints, now it's the time for you to learn how to do what you need to do. Amen. Stand for the Lord. Stand yeah. in your faith. Amen. These, these people here, every last one of these apostles laid their life down. And you can't make me believe there is no God. That men and women, look at all the thousands of men and women that has went on before us, that laid their life down for Christ. Not that many people are not going to die for something that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 He's for real. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. And the reason why I know he's alive, he lives in me. Yeah. I feel him yeah. all over me. Yeah. Paul, he let, laid his life down. Peter laid down his life. Got, got crucified upside down. Paul went on the chopping block. John out on the Isle of Patmos. The other uh, apostle uh, got boiled in hot grease. Mm -hmm. these, these people tormented in the arena, turning lines on, on the Christians to eat them up. Amen. But they stood for what they believed in. So that's going to come a time you're going to have to prove you right. really love yeah. him. Amen. Right. So you ought to get it in your heart right now so that when it does come, your, your heart will be like a brick against yeah. the enemy. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, you ain't coming past this heart. Mm -hmm. I'm standing for Jesus. Yeah. Don't resist it. Stand in your faith because your brothers are all over the world. Uh -huh. They're undergoing the same kind of suffering. Mm -hmm. And then people want to laugh at the church. They want to make fun of you. If you say it too many times that you love God. Yeah. You know, they, oh, they, oh, you keep him in his place. Now, I, I say, hi, I beg your pardon? Hello? Where, where is his place? Somebody need to tell me where his place is. Because the last time I read, his place is everywhere. Every place we go belong to him. Literally. He's just lending it to us for a little while. Even the breath that we breathe, say, belong to him. Amen. Amen. He's letting you have it for a little while. What you going to do with that breath while you got it? Amen. Amen. So, so, you know, it's, it's just part of it. It's just part of it. People want the blessings. Yeah. Oh, bless me, Lord. Bless me. Bless me, Lord. I need a blessing. God sends you a blessing. I need my rent paid. He pays your rent. He sends you a financial money. He heals your body. He gives you everything. And then we're never satisfied. Yeah. We're never satisfied. And then we start our back, get up against the wall. We start going through a little trouble, convenient. Oh, we crying. Where are you at, God? You let me. I'm doing all this suffering. Look at them. They're living worse than me. And, and I'm trying to live right. Wow. Yeah. See how we are? Yeah. How we murmur and complain? Instead of even in the bad times. Yeah. If you learn how to praise God in the bad times, I tell you, he'll give you more good times. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. They give you more good times, saints. You got to learn. You got to give and take some things. It ain't always pie in the sky. That's right. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right. And see, when, when I was coming up, we didn't have a lot. Yeah. Everything we got, we had to go. They said, go, hey, go work for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to go to the movies? 
Go get your job. Amen. Go wash somebody's dishes. Go do somebody's hair. Amen. That's older kids. The young kids have to do that. But that's older kids. You know, but guess what? It taught us something. Yeah. It taught us something. When we got older, you, you, you don't have to depend on nobody. You get out there and work. And when you work and get it, you appreciate it. Yeah. Amen. I give you a car, and I just go buy you a car, and you ain't never paid a car payment, you're not going to appreciate it. If you got to pay the car payment, you'll appreciate it more. You'll go wash it. Yeah. You'll go vacuum it out. Yeah. But when somebody giving you something all the time, you don't appreciate it. That's not right. You gotta go through something every now and then. You gotta go through a little rain in order to appreciate the sunshine. Amen. Come on in here, talk to me. That's why you got four seasons. Because things change. We talk about the song season change. Ecclesiastes said, there's a time and a season for everything. Things change up. It ain't going to be sunshiny always. And when the bitterness comes, learn how to roll through it. Oh, talk to me somebody. Oh, y'all don't like that. Oh, but y'all want peaches and cream all the time. Sometimes you get sour grapes. Amen. Huh? Can we talk? Amen. He said, and, and the God. I'm going to finish this up tonight. And the God of all grace. No, some grace. Oh. The God of all grace mm. who called you to his eternal glory in Christ. Look here. Eternal glory mm -hmm. in Christ. Yeah. You're going to spend eternity somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Once you're born into this world, you're here forever. A lot of people don't know, oh, when, when, it's up, when you die, when it's over, it's over. Oh, no, honey. When you die, it's just, it's just beginning. Right. Yeah. Because you enter in eternity. Yes. So eternity work. Mm. That's your decision. Yeah. I hear a lot of preachers say, well, I don't preach about hell. I, I don't tell yeah. nobody they're going to hell or whatever. So what are you preaching? Wow. Even Jesus Christ. Talked about heaven and hell. Right. Mm -hmm. And he's the Messiah. Yeah. Right. So what's your problem? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better tell. Because if you don't, he's going to tell you. Right. And see, we take this holy thing and, and, and this righteous thing and we laugh about it. Yeah. Oh, ain't no. And oh, oh, no, not one. No, no, we're not holy. No, we're not. Through him we are. He who knew no sin. Yeah. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. So you take people that take a little, yeah. no, just the two or three scriptures. They'll take that scripture out of context and use it for themselves. Yeah. The cover. Yeah. But God has an all seeing eye. Yeah. And he said, I'm the holy God and I want holy people. Yeah. And he is not playing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Do we make mistakes? Yeah, we do. But we don't follow it. That's right. That's right. He didn't, after you have become a Christian, he don't even call it sin. He said, when you have become overtaken in a fault, we don't entertain sin. Because we are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. People don't want to preach that. We're too busy preaching this. You know, you sow, you sow a thousand dollars in here in this church, and we don't beg for money. Right. We don't have right. to, Amen. because God supplies our needs. Amen. But I'm not going to tell you to sow a thousand dollars, and next week in three days God's going to give you ten thousand. I'm not going to do that. Right. But a lot of preachers are doing it, right. and God is not pleased with it. Amen. Amen. He's not pleased with it. Your members are barely. Paying their rent. Yeah. And you sitting up in a 8,000 square foot home. Mm -hmm. Got all kind of Bentleys and everything else. You think God is pleased? No. Nah. He's not pleased with that. Oh, uh -uh. I, I believe in uh, a labor is worthy of his hire. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's only so much you need to do mm -hmm. to have comfort. Yeah, that's right. I don't have to have all 
all of that to have come here. When I see you happy, oh, talk to me, somebody. Talk to me. When I see you happy, when I see a smile on your face, when I see your bills being met, I care about you, what you're going through, then I'm happy. Then I'm happy. And that's the way we should all care about one another, not what I can, what's in it for me. That's not what I'm worried about. Because God is always taking care of me. I've never had lack in my life since I've been grown. The but come on, say it. That's right. Are his seed? Amen. I've never had any lack. Amen. And look at here. I, they gave me a medical. I wasn't nothing but 31 years old. I'm almost, I'm closer to 70 than I am 60. Yeah. All right. All right. And God did it. Yeah. I have more than most people working at X10. Yeah. Yeah. Y12. Yeah. K25. Who did it? God did it. God's people. God supplies my needs. Yes. Yes. He's got people with money mm -hmm. that are sold into your life. That's right. And you don't ever have to answer for a penny. Amen. 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 If you do right by God, I'm telling you, He's going to do right by you. Yeah. And God is taking care of me. Yes. And I owe it out to Him. Thank yes. you, God. Yes. For I, you know, like the doctor said, I ain't even supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. right. But I'm here. Telling the story. Yeah. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. And he's doing well. Yeah. All right. The God of grace who yeah. called you. Amen. Who called you to his eternal glory in Christ. After you have suffered. See, our suffering is just but for a moment. Yes. Amen. Somebody said, oh no, honey, I've been suffering a long time. Compared to eternity. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all sleepy yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The rain that made y'all sleep. <laughs> Look at him. Suffered for a little while. Yes. yes. Compared to eternity. Yes. I don't care if you don't suffer 70 years. Compared to eternity, it's a little while. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when you have went through it for a little while. The Bible said he himself, who? Jesus, yeah. will what? Restore, Restore you. Yeah. Yes, and will make you strong, uh -huh. put you on a firm, solid, steadfast foundation. Yeah. Come in here, talk to me. Yeah. Be steadfast, yeah. uh -huh. unmovable, yeah. always abounding. Mm -hmm. You know, people, it just, it just, it just, but who's me? Mm -hmm. we, can, we can, God woke you up this morning. Mm -hmm. He let you go on your job. Mm -hmm. yeah. He watched over you while you went to your job. Yeah. He watched over you while you went to lunch. Yeah. Then he watched over you while you came back. Yeah. We can go give the man 40 hours and we can't give God one hour. Yeah. 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 It's sad. Yeah. It's real sad. Yeah. And people are so comfortable yeah. with sitting at home watching us on Facebook. Yeah. That's right. Oh, they said they're comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no excuse. No. It's no excuse. We should be in the house. Yeah. There's no, unless you're sick. Right. And even yeah. when I was going through all that sickness and still going through, I, I would tell my sisters and my husband, I said, get the wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is how much I wanted to be in the house. Raw, if I'm going to church Sunday, if y'all got to Roll. check me out of the hospital, Check out the hospital bed uh -huh. and roll me into church on the hospital bed. Yeah. Come on, Because yeah. right. God will get you up out, out, off of the hospital bed. Honey, when we went to a revival, we did a, I did a revival in, in Oakland, California. And a man rolled his wife, who was dying of cancer, hadn't walked in three months, in the church on her hospital bed. And God told me to tell her. I went right up to her bed. Take your bed up and walk. Yeah. And the husband said, she can't walk. She hasn't walked. I said, brother, 
You need to hear the, you need to hear the word, Mama. 
I need to teach you to work. All right. <laughs> so we have to work. So you got to be faithful whether you got a little crowd or a big crowd. Amen. I'm not teaching for it. I'm not preaching for no crowd. I'm preaching for Jesus. So God wants us to stand firm, stand fast. And said, she that's in Babylon, that's the she is talking about the church. Uh -huh. Did you know the church was a she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know the church was a she? Yeah. Chosen together with you, mm -hmm. sends you her greetings. And so does my son Mark. That was his natural son. That's his son in the Lord. Yeah. You know, if you if you are uh, under uh, someone's ministry and they ordain you, you're their son or daughter in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what that's about. Mm -hmm. You know, because Mark, you know, he had a hard, rocky road when he first got started because he didn't want to be faithful. Mm -hmm. But then he proved himself to be faithful because that's why Paul didn't want to take it that's right. on the journey. Oh, hello. Amen. Paul and Silas, that's why they split up <laughs> over Mark. That's right. Because Paul said he ain't ready. Paul said he's not ready. Paul was notorious. And so Silas said, the man of incursion, he said, I'm going to take it with me. Amen. Amen. And Paul went another way with Timothy. So God's got a way. He's got somebody that will hold on and hold out. And when you hold on for a little while, you ought to be like Mark. You ought to move up a little. Amen. Amen. Isn't that right? Say, greet one another. With a holy kiss. You can't hardly kiss nobody in church no more, especially if they of the opposite sex, unless you're born with it. It's sad. Amen. Look, look where we have gotten to. But the word said, greet each other with a holy kiss. Amen. You know? And we are kissing family anyway. We just kiss and love and we can see each other. We kiss coming in. We kiss going out. We kissing in between. Yeah. You know? Hello! <laughs> My daddy was a kisser. Man. And, 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 and we was taught love. Yes. That's why we love. We got a big heart. We love today. Yes. So say, this is what the Bible wants us to do. It says, peace be with all of y'all. Yes. Yeah. From our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The peace of God rests on you. It, I say this, as you go the rest of this week, yeah. some might go to church tomorrow. Some people go to church every day. Mm -hmm. They have services, noonday service every day. But if you don't go... Go, uh, come back to the house of the Lord until Sunday. The peace of God go with you. Amen. Amen. That's why we do a benediction the way we do Sunday. To pray only, we loose our ministering angels to count round about you yes. as you go yes. and as you come. Mm -hmm. So God's peace can rest on you where no hurt, harm, or danger will come nigh Amen. your dwelling. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. That we are sisters and brothers. And if we ain't got there yet, we're on the way. Amen, amen. If you haven't got there yet, where you feel like you need to be in God, guess what? There's room for growth. Amen. There's always room for growth. Amen. Glory be to God. As we walk in this Christian journey, it's always room for growth. For growth. Amen. amen. You ain't arrived yet. Uh -huh. Oh, when you arrive, you can go on to heaven. Uh -huh. You have not arrived. Amen. You still got growth. Uh -huh. I don't care if you're a leader, you're a bishop, you're a pastor, whoever. We all got room. For growth. That's right. To Amen. God be the glory. Amen. All right, bottom line, I'm done with you. Stay established in the truth. Yes. I like it. Stay established in the truth. Stay established in the truth. Amen. Anyone else? Amen. All right, we're going to turn it off. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.